hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel rishi labs in today's video we will see how to download and install flutter on windows so let's get started for this you'll need to have a google chrome or any web browser i'll make use of google chrome in search bar you need to type flutter space download now you will get the first screen that is download flutter sdk click on it now on this page just click ok got it you need to choose the platform for which you want to download this flutter sdk so our current device is windows so i'll select windows now over here you need to select desktop now on this page you need to scroll down and select download and install over here you will find the flutter windows stable zip file you need to select this so it is a 1gb zip file it will take some time to download so flutter is an open source ui toolkit developed by google for building cross platform applications such as mobile web desktop applications using a single code base it uses dart programming language to develop these applications once the zip file is downloaded you need to click on show in folder so this is a zip file of 1 gb which has got downloaded i'll just unzip it do right click show more options i'll make use of 7 zip extract to once the zip is extracted you will find this folder of flutter windows open it you will see the folder of flutter inside this flutter folder you will see all the packages and all the required directories are there I'll just go back okay now cut this folder flutter you can do right click and cut okay we'll go to this pc in c make sure you do not paste it under program files or program files x86 it will not work okay so you need to paste it inside c drive so i've pasted it inside a c drive now we need to set environment variables so we'll go into the flutter folder look for bin directory copy this path c flutter bin okay i'll just select right click and copy now open environment variables now click on windows type edit system environment variables click on it click on environment variable under system variable tab look for path okay click on edit click on new and paste the path which we have copied that is c flutter bin directory path okay then click on ok ok again and click on ok so we have set the path now to check if flutter is configured correctly or not you can type windows key and type cmd enter on the command screen you need to type flutter space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter all the pub upgrades okay it will download all the required packages and dependencies okay so flutter is configured correctly it will take some time once it is configured you will see the flutter version okay so our current version is flutter 3.0 Two nine, okay, and the channel is stable. So we'll close this CMD screen. Now, if you want to work with Flutter inside Visual Studio Code, you will need to install Visual Studio. Since I have already installed Visual Studio Code on my computer, so I'll just double click and open it. I'll put the installation link of Visual Studio, okay, so you can refer to it to install this Visual Studio on. Visual Studio Code on your computer. Once that is done, now to work with the Flutter inside Visual Studio Code, you will need to enable the extension on the left hand side panel. You need to click on Extensions and over here type Flutter. Okay, you will see the first one Flutter supported and debugging. Select it. There is an option to install. Click on Install. Select Trust Publisher and install. 
trust workspace and install so this may take some time to get installed okay with the help of this extension you will be able to work on flutter application development inside the vs code so it is installed you can see flutter support and debugger for visual studio now we'll type dart select it see once we install flutter it also enables the dart support with the vs code okay click on file view terminal okay i'll close this extension window now on the terminal you can type flutter space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter if you are able to see the flutter version that is 3.29 okay that means your flutter is configured correctly inside the vs code and you will be able to write flutter applications using the dart programming language so i'll close this for now that's all for today guys do subscribe to my youtube channel rishi labs thanks for watching